What's up guys, I am Black Ops Amazing and welcome to the second episode of my GTA Q&A. If you do go in to enjoy the video guys at the end, please make sure you do leave a like rating, it is really appreciated and takes just a second. Also, if you want to see some more videos on my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button on screen now. Or below the video guys, I'm trying to reach 1000 Twitter followers, so if you could help me out, the links are down in the description. All you need to do is leave me a follow. Thank you for watching guys, and enjoy. So, just before we get into it, if you don't know how this works, all you need to do is leave me a question or anything to do with GTA down in the comment section below, and you could be in the next video. So, this time, we are going to talk about a couple of vehicles, a few other things in GTA 5 that we would love to see inside of the game. So, the first one is adding the hovercraft into GTA 5. And this was suggested by Ben Berge in the last episode. Now, we also got the hovercraft in GTA San Andreas. It was absolutely awesome. And it should be in GTA 5 because, in my opinion, we don't have any wacky and awesome vehicles in GTA 5 Online. As the game's got on, it's got more serious. You now, we've got more awesome, serious vehicles. But we don't have all these crazy ones like we used to have in GTA. And it should be in GTA because the hovercraft, as you know, can go on water and it can go on land. And we've got loads of water and we've got loads of land in GTA 5. So why can we not have it in the game? I think it'd be an absolutely awesome some vehicle and this also brings me on to my next one another crazy vehicle is the go-kart again we got this in gta san andreas it was absolutely awesome and like i've said the more gta has gone on it seems like it's got more and more serious to me i don't really feel like i enjoy it as much as i used to i always go back to san andreas now and again because i have it on pc and play it for all these wacky vehicles and if Rockstar are thinking, well, we can't put these in because everyone's going to be driving around in them, it's going to be crazy, it's going to be stupid. Well, that's what GTA Online is about. It's about all this stuff. It's about being fun, you know. I think Rockstar are actually trying to take the fun away from GTA. That's what I feel anyway, the stuff I enjoy isn't really in the game and they could also put it in single player but make it rare make it hard to get like it was in gta san andreas there's only one location you can get the go-kart and only one location you could get the hovercraft you know make them rare vehicles but you can actually get them Another thing I would love to see is a DLC for sports cars. So a sports car DLC, the DLC contains about three sports cars, I don't know, let's say an Aston Martin, some awesome cool cars, I don't know, an F1 or something like that. You know, some awesome cars that we would love to see in GTA 5 Online. So far, the only good DLC we've had, or the only decent DLC we've had, I should say, is the Beach Bum DLC pack, and I don't really think it was that good. You know, a supercar DLC pack, an Aston Martin, an F1 car, again, I guess you could say it's a crazy vehicle, you know adding these supercars in would be awesome there's quite a few of them in the game already but i think this would just top gta 5 online and also james woods from the last episode suggested more cars and bigger garages we've just said more cars but bigger garages would be an awesome thing as well so far you can only have a 10 car garage what if you want more garages well i also think instead of bigger garages we could also have the ability to buy more than one garage so you could buy an apartment with a 10 car garage and you could also have the ability to buy five other other garages that could contain about 50 cars when they're all combined. I think that would be an awesome thing to add into the game. And by the way, that one was suggested by the Gamer Terrain in the first episode. And finally, the last thing I would love to see in the game is the electric shock pistol. I can't remember what it's called, but the gun that you get in the single player campaign for GTA 5 Online, the one that can send out an electric shock. Um, what's it called? A taser gun. I would love to see that in the online mode. I don't know why they haven't put it in. It's already in the campaign. It wouldn't be too hard for them to put it in online. And it's not something that would really kill you. It can kill you, but it takes two or three shots from it. And it takes quite a while to get the shots out. But it would just be an awesome weapon to put into the online. I think it would be fun to go around tasering other online players. It would be an awesome weapon to put in. And I just think, again, it's something cool that could be in GTA 5 online. And that was suggested by the Bob Shop. And finally, one question I'm going to answer it is by the Miner Man. What do you think of the criminal records being patched? And do you think that Rockstar should bring it back? I think they should patch it if people are going to use these glitches continuously. I think they should patch it and change it in ways, lower the money maybe, or make it so you can't replay these missions. But I also think they should bring it back afterwards. So thank you very much for watching, guys. All these people who got their questions and everything in this video. Their channels will all be linked down in the description. If you want to get your chance to have your channel down in the description or your name shown on the next video, please make sure you do leave your question or anything about GTA you want to ask me in the next video so I can hopefully put it in there. If you have enjoyed the video, guys, or liked any of the ideas here, please make sure you do leave a like rating on the video. If we could reach over 300 likes, that would be absolutely amazing. If you want to see some more videos on my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button on screen now. Or below the video, guys, thank you very much for watching. Please make sure you do follow me on Twitter. I'm almost at 1,012 and until next time, peace out.